chip shop opening soon. Yeah! Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network. Kevin J2010 here. And in the last episode, um, we stopped Mr. 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 Higsby from uh, using the re-education program on the school. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to jack into this car here. Or jack in. Yeah, jack into this car right here. Because there is something you might want to pick up in here, if I can find it. Because these places are so big, we're probably going to run into a virus in here. Yep, called it. Oh, look, it's the upgraded Metar, actually. Forget what it's called, it's just an upgrade Metar. But I already beat it. And because I beat it, so... Aww, 200 Zenny, not bad, though. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, so in this episode, we're actually going to go head off to Skylab once I... I thought there was something in here. That was the reason why I did that. Oh, there's that guy here, too. Oh, I've seen that guy before. Forget what he does, though. Oh, he does that, and he breaks all my blocks. Oh, crap. That's not good. He's going to try to break all my blocks, which... Trust me, is, not, is a lot more intimidating than you think. Nope, oh, like that. And now... See, now we're stuck. And now we died. Huh. I swear there was something in there, though. Luckily, that was right at the beginning of the episode, because if you do lose, you do get a game over. It's funny, because I was thinking to myself, like, I wonder if I lose after, like, a good hour of recording. Does that mean that I have to start over? I know there was something in here, and I was like, was like, go jack into the car, and you'll find some. And usually, there's always something in here. I didn't check the middle, because I'm stupid. There we go, we got an HP memory. So now our health is up to... Let me check Megman's health. And sorry if you can hear the window in the background. It's really windy outside. Yeah, our health is now 120. That's pretty good. Never actually went through what's on here. Libraries, your library of chips. Of all the chips you have. Email is your email. Items are items you have. You usually don't even need to go to the, these screens. Network is um, like multiplayer and save and return is to close. So, hope you're all happy with that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so before we head off to Scilab, though, and I know I'm killing a lot of time, and I probably should have done a lot of this off screen, I'm actually going to quickly hop onto the net. I'm going to jack in here. I'm going to jack into the net here. And I'm going to run to that shop, actually, because I'm going to go grab some stuff from the shop. I'm gonna buy stuff. Where do we go to get to the shop? You head up, and then the round and down, I think. Oh, but there's a new enemies here, so I might as well show these guys. These are. Dashers, I believe. They're actually quite easy. Once you... There you go. See how easy that was? And then you go down easy to Shockwave. So... There you go. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple thing. Dasher is a decent chip, actually, if you can get it. It's about... I believe it's as strong as Sword. It does about 80 damage. But it actually has some range, so. Now, anyway, what I'm going to do here, just to be cool. Well, that guy do that, and then we're just going to... Yeah, triple kill! Oh, yeah! And we don't get anything for it. This game sucks. Anyway. Ah, uh, what's this piece of data? Shotgun K. Um, K chips are actually somewhat worth getting. Because later, they start making a lot of the sword chips come with K. So you can mix it in with shotgun. Um... And I'm guessing the reason why they do that, because I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know every single chip advance you can do in the game. But I know some of the chip advances do involve chips that aren't of the same type. Like, it's not just a bunch of swords or a bunch of cannons. It's something a little bit different. Anyway, so I'm going to come to the net merchant. I'll get some HP memory, because right now it's cheap. It does the normal thing where, like, as you buy it, it gets more expensive. And I'll get a power-up. And then... Wide Sword K, we there you go, right there, Wide Sword K. Um, our Cub 50 would be okay. And I want to get... Uh, I, was, I did not plan my spending right, now did I? Let's see how Mega Man's looking now. Now what you do... Oh, okay, right. When you get a... When you buy a power-up, you can put choose where you put them. That's right. That's how, I, I couldn't remember for the life of me how this works. There's armor there. Um, attack is one I'm going to raise. Actually, I'll raise charge first. Okay. 
because now we have the ability to charge. So I'll show you how this works. It works just like you think it would in a Mega Man game. You hold the shoot button, and there you go. You charge it up. It goes green, and then it goes pink. And then you do about... How much does that do? About six damage? That's a little bit of a weird number. There we go. Ah, it's an interesting number, anyway. Anyway. I just wanted to show you guys how that worked. Um, we didn't we didn't need Cannon C, so I didn't get it. But I did get a Recover 50, because the Recover 50 is quite useful. And we got a Cannon. I actually wanted Zennies, but okay. Um, fix the folder up real quick, because the Recover 50 is useful, because it heals a lot. So, we'll put it over that Escape, because it, Escape I actually don't... I hate using. I'd rather actually, you know, actually battle. So... And that was the only chip I bought, wasn't it? Yep, okay. So we'll jack out. And now we'll finally head off to Scilab. Sorry I started this episode off with a bunch of random crap. Um, to be honest, once we get to Scilab, we won't be doing the normal thing either. Or the thing we're supposed to do there either. Right away, at least. I completely forgot where the station was. Because in later Battle Network games, they actually started moving around um, where everything is. Please place magazines, papers, use paper, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Anyway. Metroline is not running, so you can't buy a ticket. What? You set it open today. Would you lie? Why do I look so glum on opening day, you ask? Looks like there was a landslide and we can't run. What do you mean they don't know when the trains will run? What a terrible opening day. What's the problem here? Who am I supposed to talk to? Yes, because of that, you can't buy tickets yet. Or did you want something else? No. Actually, no, I'll just say yes a bunch of times. See what happens. When there's an accident, the safety program should stop the trains, but the program was hit with a virus. It doesn't look like anyone broke into the control room, so we think that someone got in through the net. Do you want to hear that again? Yes. The whole train system is run by a computer. There's an accident. It was attacked by a virus. No. Lame, want me to check things out on the net? So do we want to get in from the net, or do we? can we jack in here? Yeah, they want me to jack in there, don't they? Okay, so we're going to want to jack in from the net, but we can't get there, so we need to talk to Dex. We need his link. But I will if you give me a recovery L chip. Just we saw one in a jack and port in May Lu's house. Forgot the address to where it is, though. Okay, so we need to go to May Lu's house. May Lu's house is right next to Lan Hikari's house. I know this is going to look like I'm so bad at this game. You know what? I am bad at this game. I haven't played in a long time. I believe you can jack into the piano, and that's her connection. I believe. Again, I haven't played this game in a long time, and this is a sort of blind LP, so... Ah, uh, oh, a Quake dude. Oh, that's cool. I do need to collect Zennies anyway, so I might as well, right? A Quake 1A, that's pretty good. Uh, there's an Invisid dude. Oh, actually, I'll take the High Cannon and one-shot him, actually. I don't want to deal with you. Oh, I missed it. And I hit myself. I know what I'm doing. Just gotta... Increasing your charge actually increases how fast the charge comes out, by the way. There we go. Got him. So that... That's, I didn't explain what everything did. Power is obviously how much damage it does. It starts off at 1, and by the time... It just goes up by 1 for each upgrade. Rapid is how fast you can shoot. You can definitely tell what it is as you get it. There's the Recov L. Recov 50 L. And there's the access to Melu's uh, internet. So now you can... Yeah. Anyway, I am flustered right now. And if I was going on with the story, man, you've got mail. Ah, oh, you're AOL again, Mega Man. My Gutsman is ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We can take on Gutsman again. That's what we wanted to do. That's what we wanted to do. Oh, oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Oopsie. I'm stupid. Remember, kids, don't button mash because it might just work out worse for you in the end. Okay, so bring it. Bring it. Waiting for him to get in line with me, but he's not. Doesn't seem to want to. 
Get over here. Jesus. I'll attack you as soon as I can. I swear to God. Look like that. He does flinch from style. Look like that. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, I'll be honest. Uh, okay. We have a fair bit of health now, actually, now that we got those HP memories. I just realized. Don't you love when you're playing a video game and you can finally feel safe again? Aw, oh, crap. One thing you can do to be safe in this game is you can always just do this, and now he actually, there's no way he can get me right now. Because his shock waves won't reach me. Because the shock waves. <sighs> he won't hit me at all, so. Yeah. I didn't use the cross gun that I just put in, but whatever. We use roll. Because you can use roll at any time and you'll do some decent damage. As you can see, our side's a little screwed up right now. Nah, uh, we'll get the white sword in and we'll win. One more charge shot would do a lot. There we go. There we go. Our board is fixing itself. Get up here. Oh, that was easy. Anyway, we win. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong with him? He looks a little pale. Hmm? Is he okay? Maybe, maybe the shock. Don't tell me you're not gonna give me a link again. I can't believe I lost you. It must be fate. But I always keep my promises. The link is yours. Land got slash Dex. Use this on the net to expand the area you can access. Thanks, Dex. I owe you one. Hey, wait. Use this too. And you get Gutsman G. Now that is our second Navi chip. Um, one thing I forgot to mention because now that we have two. Um, you are only allowed, and you are only, you are only allowed to have five net navi chips, or navi chips, in your, in your, uh, folder. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, sword B is kind of useless in my opinion. But, uh, I just got rid of something and I wanted to put it back. Shockwave K? Maybe. I might bring that. Nah, you know what? It's fine. What I have right now. We'll just jack in through next, uh, Dex's, uh, thing. Uh, I didn't point out before there's GameCube in his room. As you probably just saw as I jacked in over here. So let's go. Straight line. Turning. Turning. Oh, battle. Okay. Oh, he's got some upgraded dudes. Okay. Okay. All right. It's an I No. Okay. I'll wait until this guy... You got in the way, you stupid metar. He just does, like, a multiple of how much damage you can normally do. Oh, if you get to green, it does ten times. And if you do... If you get to pink, it does like 14 times or something weird like that. I don't know exactly how it works. I just semi know how his buster works. The charge is useful because it's almost like having a chip because it does a little bit more than just one damage at a time. So I figured I would jack onto his net and you'd, I'd find something. So that's one of the reasons why I did it. Oh, this is a C and this is a C so I can bring both. Sweet. Sweet. That was actually a really good battle. It was real quick and done, and I got a shockwave K. Okay, there we go. We're getting more Ks. There we go. Now we got at Dex again, so we can act. We're just, we, you need to get these so you can access different areas. X panel B. Now that's an interesting chip to collect, actually. Uh, just trust me. X panel is a really interesting chip. It basically, instead of just cracking the things, as you saw Gutsman do in the battle with him. Instead of just cracking them, you just straight up break them in a three-way vertical line on the front. It's like steel, except instead of owning them, you you destroy them. Which is still good to an extent. I wouldn't use it, though, because it kind of ruins uh, using like shockwaves, which I actually kind of like using in early games. So. I don't think I'm going the right way, but we'll, we'll find out the hard way, I guess. We'll use Gutsman just to show you what happens.
As you can see, he just hits the entire other side, and it's all right. It's it's nothing to write home about. There we go. So that was pretty easy. Okay, I just figured it out finally. The green is times eight, pink is times sixteen. Now it's a really weird numbering system, but you know what? Whatever. I for the longest time I thought it was ten, but I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This episode's gonna be really slow, I can already tell, but you know what? You know what? I don't give a crap. I already had a death right at the very beginning. Oddly enough, I was talking to a friend, and it's like, well, it's an RPG. Like, when you lose in an RPG, it's not as bad as losing in another game. I'm like, well, to an extent, you're right. Because, like, you have a save point. It's still, like, nice to see me fail, though. I mean, don't don't y'all love it when I fail? I thought that was the cool thing about Let's Playing. Well, whatever. I took the hit there, but it was okay. Collecting zennies is important anyway. So, yeah, to get to, to get to the later part of the internet, you do have to go this way. Uh, I know, I, I seem really flustered right now, and I'm not flustered at all, actually. I'm just trying to remember where I was in this game. It'll pick up again, don't worry. It's just like right now, it's like at a weird slow point. Don't worry, this just started off good. There we go. The AI and some of the enemies are pretty bad, like the Metars will always always line themselves up with you. It's just what they do. The reason why I wanted to buy the Cannon C off this guy is so that I could have it and use it, but it seems like that is going to be a problem, and shoot. Yeah. Cross Gun is so weird, like I don't know why you would use it. There we go. Do 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 do. Anyway, we're gonna get over here. I'm a net merchant. I could get another HP memory, but I usually save my money on those for a little bit because I mean, you're getting hit and stuff and like, it's gonna happen all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna add this Cannon C to my library as well so we can have an extra Cannon C. And that's X panel, as you see, you just erase the first three columns from your opponent's side. It, it's, it's okay. It would be really good against Metars, but it's not really all that good against anything else. So, I guess it could be good against opponents who move around a lot and you'll limit their space, but at this point in the game, we don't deal with that. Oh, I have an X panel one. Why do I, why do I have that? I shouldn't have gotten rid of that long time ago. There we go. More, more zennies. You need more zennies. There's this. This is, there we go. So now we've connected to Dex's terminal. So now we can connect to his... Couldn't decode the data. Oh, well, that's weird. Anyway. Anyway, so now we can finally go on here. And you slash dex. There we go. If you keep winding up here, you'll see the metro line. Just saw some really big guy there. Oh! Oh, I know what's coming up. But we'll save that for next time. So next time, Megman Battle Network. I'm sorry this episode was kind of bad. In short, and me trying to figure things out. But once we get past this, trust me, it's going to get good again. Sorry for the bad episode. But next time on Mega Man Battle Network, we're going to be getting back into the meat of stuff. And there's a cool boss up ahead. So see you guys all next time.